guys. Sunday afternoon, October. I don't know, October seventh, eighth, something like that. I'm just out for a ride. It's actually supposed to rain tomorrow, so I thought this might be a good time to get out. Just go for a ride. That's one of the places I went off-road. It's pretty muddy now. It's been raining last week. There's actually a trail I wanted to check out and it's really more of a power line trail and it, I, look, I looked at it on Google Maps and it looks like, or Google Earth, and it looks like it's being groomed for, possibly being groomed for a sidewalk, um, but I'm not sure. So I'm just out for a ride and figured might as well go by there and see uh, see what it looks like now. Yeah, it looks like a cop down there clocking people. They love to catch people coming through here. It's 25 and uh, they want you to go 25. Oh, that's not a cop, that's a Honda. Yeah, they're probably sitting around here somewhere. One thing I wanted to bring up, um, I know Ron C. up in uh, Virginia has been uh, talking about getting a little healthier, getting outdoors, doing some running, some walking. That's definitely something I could use. Could use to lose more than a few pounds. Um, somebody else uh, recently was talking about the Cato diet, and uh, I'm gonna put his. I'm gonna put his link in uh, in the description. But I just wanted to say. Um, I've tried a lot of diets and a lot of them may work for one reason or another. A lot of the ones you pay for even may work for one reason or another. But from experience, um, I've learned that it, what it really boils down to is just plain old common sense about fact that your body can only burn so many calories per day. Everybody's metabolism is different. My metabolism is slow. I burn a lot less calories, you know, in one day than, than the average person does. Other people burn a lot of calories. But that's what it boils down to. At the end of the day, the calories you have in excess that you've put into your body, um, that aren't burnt get stored as fat. So, really, all these diets, yeah, they, they might make you healthier. Um, they might make you eat better for yourself. 
it might make you eat less fat or less carbs or less um, things that are bad for you in general, cholesterol, all that kind of stuff. And that's good. But if the goal is to lose weight, the, the main thing you really have to pay attention to is calories. And that's just a, a known fact. And I think a lot of people are trying to um, sell diet plans and instruction and, and all this stuff to just to feed off of uh, people who really want to lose weight. Not that what they're telling you is wrong because most of them are telling you, hey, eat less carbs, eat less fat, and while you're at it, eat all this stuff that's good for you. Vegetables, oats, bran, gr uh, grains, whatever, uh, barley. So all that's good for you and the instruction's not completely wasted. But really, what you have to really pay attention to is calories. So, after trying a lot of different types of diets, um, never seeing much of a result, even with exercise, um, I finally learned the hard way and I told, uh, I put this in a, in a comment online, but I got sick about two years ago with a uh, a lung infection made it really hard to breathe hard to get a full breath and um, it lasted for about a month and a half um, and during that time I didn't feel like eating it was hard enough just concentrating on breathing and um, so I started realizing that I wasn't eating much now what I was eating was mostly not diet type items. I was eating bread, I was eating um, things that may have been high in fat, french fries, etc. But I wasn't getting uh, the full amount of calories that my body should have during the day or that you know would be needed to maintain my body weight. And the weight just fell off of me for the first time. Um, I lost about 30 pounds in that month, which I know people say that's crazy, but it was 30 to 30, it was about 30 pounds to, in a month to a month and a half. And um, I realized at that point, it doesn't really matter what I eat. It's just a matter of what calories I put in myself. And so I started walking in the evening after work started going for you know a mile it started out with like a mile walk um, eventually I was doing like three miles a night and just a walk I mean a brisk walk later uh, I started going into a light jog for maybe a mile out of the three miles but that was it and um, I got back to eating regular and when I did I decided hey I don't want to gain this weight back that I'd lost uh, so I, st I kept walking about three nights a week and I put an app on my phone called um, my fitness pal it's actually made by Under Armour and it's got a diary a meal diary built into it so you can go in there and plug in any type of food you eat and it will tell you how many calories it was um, and then based on your your height your weight it determines how many calories uh, per day you should have and when you add food in it subtracts those calories from from your allotment and when you go out and walk it counts your steps and it syncs with your phone or your uh, if you have a Fitbit or a Garmin device I have a Garmin uh, it syncs with that and it says, oh, you walked this many steps. That means you burned this many calories. And let's subtract that from your, um, or actually add it to your allowed amount for that day. I can't remember which, but it takes all that into account. So there's really um, no way that, you know, it's not figured correctly unless you just don't input the information correctly. And it knows 
it knows food from all these restaurants. Any, just about any restaurant, unless it's a local restaurant, it'll already have the, the menu built in and it knows how many calories it is. So if I say I had a large fries from McDonald's, it knows the large fries from McDonald's is this many calories. Um, so it's really good. I, I didn't want to spend this whole vlog talking about that, but maybe it helps somebody. Maybe it gives somebody a good idea. And maybe talking about it will get me motivated to get back out and uh, start walking again and get the app back out functioning again because I've been on a long hiatus from that and uh, probably gained some of that weight back but for a year I kept it off after I lost it and uh, that's how I did it and I noticed if I if I cut down on the food I was eating it would start I could lose weight again and it'll tell you it'll say if you continue what you're doing right now for 20 days here's how many pounds you'll lose or here's how much you'll gain because of what you did today if you continue so that's pretty cool stuff anyway just wanted to bring that up I'm out here looking for this trail now so there's the power lines down there I think this neighborhood back here actually backs up to them. I think it backs up to the trail actually too, and that's why I think they were possibly going to put a, a sidewalk on it. If that's what they did, then obviously I can't ride on it, but it was just a power line, like a dirt trail. a leash. Somebody's missing their dog. I think this is it right down here. Man. Looks like some people what the soccer field looks like up here. I 
trails around us. Oh well. There's the power line, by the way. See, it goes for miles that way. It goes for miles that way, too. Just gotta be able to get to it. today. If the bike was just a little bit narrower, Bars are like four inches higher. I might be able to. I don't want to try it again right now because too many people are around, but maybe sometime. If I could ride a wheelie through there, I'd get in. This is Sunday afternoon at the park. Everybody's out. to be doing walking so I've got to run up a quick errand here stop at a store pick something up this road too and I was actually thinking originally I was thinking about jumping on it from this road but I couldn't find an open area here either they cross right around here and there's a lot of like homeowner homes that back up to this area so way back in there I just didn't want to go through somebody's property or somebody's field but you see back there there's a home but that's the power line right up there Right here is where you could jump on it if you wanted to. Maybe another time. done with my errand and uh, as you can see it's getting dark 
with another strikeout with the uh, trail riding today. But maybe I'll find something later. Anyway, I appreciate you guys checking out the channel. And uh, this may be all a record for uh, you because it's getting dark. Someday I'm going to get on that power line though. You guys take it easy. Hope you're having a great weekend. I'll catch you later.